How's it going guys? Today we are doing a bit of an unboxing and a build instruction guide for you all on the Hearth and Hand coffee table in black. So here's the box right here. It's pretty straightforward. It comes in this big round box because it is a round coffee table. So I move the cat out of the way here. You have your two legs right here. We have our instructions over here on the right. And then um, the legs come packaged at the bottoms here so they don't poke through or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and take these out and I'll show you guys what all is inside and how easy this thing is to set up. All right, so this should be a pretty straightforward setup here. We just have rid of the two legs, the tabletop, and then we also have the instructions right here. And it looks like we have a handful of screws. All right, so the step one that you're gonna have is basically just getting the legs proportioned the right way. And you're gonna have two styles. You're gonna have one with a notch on it and then the one with like the curve. And this one is goes on the inside because you can see it kind of swoops into this slot right here. And then it'll line up to the hole right here. And then while you're holding it like this, cause it will fall, you're gonna transfer it over to the bottom of the tabletop. And then you can also see here, these little holes right here are where you're gonna slot in the bottom of the legs here. So I'm gonna try and do this by using one hand. Should be able to do it, but we're gonna bring it here on the side and get the holes lined up and it should slot in like this. And they're gonna be loose. So if you wanted to do a bit of a placeholder, you can throw in the screw on the last step right here. So they're a little more sturdy. You're gonna take um, your screws right here and you have a lock washer, a flat washer, and the lock washer goes first, it's the smaller one. And I'm gonna leave a placeholder in right here at first. So they're not as wobbly, but yeah, I'm just gonna throw that in just a little bit. So it's a little more structurally sound while I'm screwing everything in. One thing to note too, is that this screw is the longer of all of them and it will come in a separate bag. It's called the H2 screw. And guys, same deal with the other screws, the H1. You have the lock washer on top, flat washer on bottom, and you have a total of eight screws you're gonna be putting in. The two over here on each end of the leg. All right, and once you've gone through and tightened all the uh, screws down, you're pretty much good to go. Um, I will say this one is barely off like uh, center, it's almost at an angle. Um, that's just the way that these are lined up. So I would not put too much pressure on really any of these screws because it all actually is still wood. So I think honestly, with how many screws there are, you don't have to go too tight on tightening them down. Otherwise you could risk pushing up against the um, actual wood and cracking the, the whole thing. So you don't want to do that. So but let's lift it up and take a final look at it. And I will say before uh, we flip this thing over, it does have some adjustments on the feet here. So in case you are on like an unlevel surface, they have that available for you to level things out. All right, and I will say uh, it is all pretty much set up. And the last thing that I wanted to comment on is I actually did notice uh, after flipping it over that there was a small amount of damage you can kind of see there. So um, it's kind of unfortunate. It's just, it's just a small crack and then it's kind of flaking off the side there. And then um, I'm not sure if it's the way that these uh, legs are set up, but essentially since um, this screw here is kind of pulling in the, these uh, bottom two legs right here, it's all, it almost weren't touching the ground. So it was kind of unstable. So I actually used those leveler pieces and I loosened the bit so they were actually contacting the ground. And this table is way more stable. So if you get your table in and it, it's kind of unlevel, just make sure you do that. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, leave a like down below. And I'll also leave a link to the table down below if you wanted to pick one up yourself. And let me know if you all wanna see any more home build tutorials on what I end up bringing in for the house as we upgrade it and get things going. So thanks for watching. And if you all did, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.